Hello YouTube, this will be a mechanism video and tutorial of my LEGO Healthy Snack Machine. In case you haven't seen the original video, some key features of this machine is that it does have three options. A moving display up top, as you can see, which aligns with these displays down below. It has a push-pull mechanism, so no candy or healthy snacks can be retrieved without putting in one penny. That is the cost of the machine. And it's also got a coin bank in the back, which requires a key to remove. So that provides a little bit of extra security for the coins, but it's not, mostly it's for healthy and fun use. So if you guys would like to see how this machine's built and how it works, then you're in the right place. But if you'd like to see how the machine functions and more information on the contest, which I actually did win something in with this machine, then go ahead and check out the original video, which there's a link below. But without further ado, I'll continue to the tutorial. So at this point in the video, we should have a fully working mechanism, so I figured I would put in a mechanism clip so I can explain how it works and give you guys a chance to test your mechanism. So first I'm going to remove the storage unit so you can see the actual coin mechanism, and we're going to test this out and show you guys how this section of the machine works here. So what you do is you would put in a penny, as you know, and then that would allow you to buy a snack. But why? Because there's a push-pull mechanism. That's what I call it, because you can push and pull but you can't retrieve any snack. And that's because there's two independent parts here. This piece and then this piece. This piece actually gives you your snack, so, but you can't get that piece to give you a snack without putting in a coin. So when you put in your coin, the way that this works is that the coin fills in the gap. You can push, and then this piece would be attached to the wall. But so that coin would fall down into the coin bank, and then you can get your snack, it will fall here, and then you can pull back, and you would retrieve your snack through the ramps. So that is how the coin mechanism works. That's pretty much all there is to it. So now, I will show you, and they fall into the coin bank down there, of course. Now I'll show you the actual storage unit and how the three option part of the machine works. So, what happens is, it's kind of counterintuitive, so whatever on the is in the center will drop and give you your snack. So as you can see, I'll put an almond in here. The best way is to see examples. I will lift up here. The almond will rest back here. So if I take the, um, so you can see that the almond will rest behind the snack retrieval system. So what will happen is the almond is here to be in the center. So if I push it this side, peanuts will be loaded on the right side, even though the picture is on the left. So now I'll load up all, just one of each little snack here, a peanut, and then a cashew. And so now you can see, if you were to put in a penny right now, it's centered over cashew. Cashews are centered here, and the cashew lies back here. So the only way to get it is to put in a penny, which would push this little section back here. Get that out of the way, pull it back, center it, and then you pull forward, or pull back, and then your cashew will be retrieved. 
And so now, if I centered it over a peanut, the peanut will be in the center. You pull, or you push back the mechanism, and then pull towards you, and then the peanut will fall through. And so how this happens is I'll put it over almonds, the last example, lift this up, all of the snacks will fill each thing, of course, and then the almond will be held here. Pull this back with the penny. You put in your penny, you push, and then this will slide back. Your almond will fall, and then you can pull back. It will fall down the ramps, and that's pretty much all there is to it. So how the display works is also simple. So whatever's in the center is what you're going to get, so that's what will be displayed. So some design aspects. The mechanism was pretty much the hardest part. Once the design is figured out, then you can build a little box here, and it just shows here what is in the center. So here, right now, peanuts would be in the center. You would see peanuts here and here, and you could purchase peanuts with a penny. So this is the last part of the mechanism, or tutorial, so we'll build that after I finish up this clip. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys understand that. If you don't, of course, just drop a comment and I will try to respond as quickly as possible. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So enjoy the rest of the tutorial and enjoy the machine. Hopefully you guys could follow and enjoy that tutorial as that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, as always, just leave them below. If you had any questions, I will try to answer them below. And hopefully you guys saw the fix when I pointed to the piece that, and then I took another picture. It was on that little part right there. Then there should be a fix. And if you didn't fix that, your display will not move. So that's important. Make sure you fix that. That's where I was pointing to a piece with my finger and also, a disclaimer, the nuts will, they're going to jam. They're not very, um, nuts are really bad for Lego machines and stuff like that. But that's just a warning because they're chunky and different sizes and it, it's kind of bad for that. But I did end up getting the machine to work decently well, so hopefully you can get that working. And like I said, just rate, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you enjoyed this and had fun building this awesome creature.